Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hudson with SPS back in the building over at Goodfellas Bagel Deli after the East Lansing versus Waverly game sponsored by Goodfellas Bagel Deli. We're here from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. But I'm here with East Lansing legend, King Tone. Yeah, yeah, DJ yeah, yeah. Tone, if you know what's really happening. Hey, but we, we say hello, but we about to say goodbye because yeah, you're making a move. You're going by coastal on us, huh? Yeah, Heading out west. I'm moving out to L.A., man. It's been a long time coming for real. Yeah. Uh, this place made me who I am right now. So uh, it's a little bit of sweet to leave, but. I gotta go. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's ironic that we caught you when we did. I appreciate you always showing the love. We always had a great things. So, talk about what your experience in this MSU community has been, both from a, you know academic who was doing great things, helping the university move along, I believe, with the IT side as well, yeah, yeah. but also being part of the culture, as being a DJ and kind of being a part of the nightlife. What has that been like for you? Um, it's been insane. Um, it's nothing that I ever dreamt about. One thousand percent. I just came here to go to school. I played rugby. I came to play rugby. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I came here, played rugby dog, um, and then I just fell into like the DJ stuff. Um, obviously, I worked IT during the daytime. That's when you was on your Clark Kent tip, mm -hmm. then you did trying to see what I had. Yeah, uh, you went to all something going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it was literally just a, a stroke of luck. So I was just like hanging out at Rick's uh, once I turned 21. Um, and my homie got super drunk, and then he was like, yo, you can you, <laughs> can you do something like, like uh, Okay. Uh, oh, man. Man. And one thing led to another Rick's show love. Let me get him for sure. They Shout were the first, out to Rick. Yeah, they were the first spot to ever put me on. Um, and I just grew from there, man. It was it was just an insane ride. I never thought it would grow to what it is now, uh, especially with the, um, the every night DJing and stuff like that. It's stuff that I dreamt about. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm always like, man, I wish I, you know, DJ like right. out of state and stuff like that. Right. Like, Wait, man, we DJ? Yeah, yeah. Right. Wait so from the time that you were a student, you know, uh, what has how much time has that been up until now? Man, I came here in 2011. Oh wow! Uh, so yeah, it's going on. Coming Ten up plus. Right yeah, going on. I mean, you say 10 years. That's it. So talk about this new move you're making to the West. You know, you you saw you talked about USLA and all that. Yeah. Well. So basically the same the same deal. Uh, working with UCLA, um, doing IT stuff out there sure um and then a little different <laughs> today, listen, listen this week that first day of fall this week i woke up and i opened my door and it was like 40 degrees yeah. i'm like yeah yeah. But, go, you, but that was an extension from your your Maryland, you know, excuse me, your DC experience, right? You know, yeah. you stayed with it. DC, DC don't get super cold. Don't get me wrong, it still snows and stuff sure. like that. But up here, it was a shell shock for sure. Yeah. I remember, I think it was like 2014, 2015 when they uh -huh. had that big snowstorm and it was like negative 30 degrees. I know that's crazy. I used to live up in Chandler doing that. Oh man, and there was no food spots. Couldn't move around. The only place nothing. that was over was the liquor store. Wow, yeah. Uh, yeah, you had to drink your meals. Yeah. Huh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no good yeah. was going on. So let's talk about this, man. Uh, let's talk about the inspiration in your story and, and what you can say to other people who may be trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got the IT going on, so you can always try to excel and go forward right. there. But this whole creative side and getting into the nightlife and to the hustle and dealing with people. Talk about what inspired you to kind of stay on that. Um, so the biggest thing I just want I just wanted to the things that I love to do I just want to get paid for the things I love to do I just want to get paid yeah. for is that fair to say yeah once I was, a, lot of, a lot of people lose that and say no I just do it for free oh no man I, I honestly don't know maybe maybe they're scared to talk about money that's the biggest thing that was the biggest thing for me when I first started DJing just that conversation with people talking about money like yo what's my fee how much y'all charging talk Can about that raise? moment I'm putting my sports technology yeah. hat on yeah. where people I almost got to look in the mirror and force themselves to say it. But talk about why are humans scared to talk about what their value is? So I, I feel like people people don't want other people to look down um, or or think a certain way about them, especially when it comes to like talking about money. Or let's say let's say hypothetically, I go somewhere I'm like, yo, I want two K. Yeah, I'm showing it. Sure. Automatically, someone's gonna look at me like two K. You want that? But you gotta you gotta start those conversations either way. Or you're not gonna get paid at all. You gotta you, believe it. Yeah, you gotta yeah. believe it. Yeah. Um, or you won't. And then you know, I just heard this recently. I thought it was pretty good. Someone said, "I'd rather have a bigger fee and deal with a smaller group and make more than a smaller fee doing what trying to deal with everybody." So at the end of the day, you guys just deal with ten people. You guys go jump in like that. Say what's up. Yep, yep. Y'all enjoy. It. You guys are right here. You just not on that one. Who y'all representing for? Who y'all want to shout out? Michigan State University. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We'll come back and see us.
Uh, All right, take care. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's going to be the same thing you'll see when you go out west. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's way more competitive, Um, but I like competition, man. I love it. Well, oh, you had it. time to hone your skills, too. Yeah. You know, and build a, you know, build a, uh, a catalog of things and experience. So what advice can you give someone who's teetering on, you know, jumping off, you know, the roof to follow their dreams or um, being locked into a situation that they may not really be happy with? Uh, I, will, I would say the biggest thing for me, the number one uh, thing for me, uh, I see, I hear it all the time, especially just randomly scrolling on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You're like you think the uh, you think the bill for uh, for trying is too high. Imagine the bill for regret. That's, That's heavy. Every, I see, it's crazy. Part. I see it every week. Just yeah. scroll on Instagram, yeah. and it just kept pounding me, pounding yeah. me, pounding me. Like, I for sure yeah. just want to go to LA and just turn up one time. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. happen if I don't do it? I'm right. always thinking, damn, I should have yeah, went sure. It's crazy because I always talk to people like, man, I should have did. Right. I hate that. Yeah. Right. You don't want to be on that. Mm -hmm. Talk about um five years from now, ten years. Talk about when you come touch back down. You get off the private jet. You say, man, I want to check out this. Other, this. I mean, tell us yeah. what your story is gonna be looking like. You think? Yeah. So the plan, uh, obviously, is to move out there, DJ, do like the the Clark Kent thing, day and night uh, kind of thing. But I want to move full time to like DJing it in artist management as well. I'm okay. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Talking. Yeah. But give me all the DJ thing is uh, not sustainable for over yeah. like thirty to forty years. But yeah. obviously, I want to get into like artist management. I want to do the, the whole artist thing myself as yeah. well. Uh, get into a little house track scene and stuff like that. I love house music. Yeah. I, I can play whatever. I yeah. literally can play whatever. But I just want to break into the house scene, do the same thing uh, that I'm doing here out there, um, and then mainly just get into like the artist management stuff. I yeah. love meeting new people, love talking to new people, and hopefully these connections go 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 above. Yeah. Yeah, would I ever dream of. You've always had that aura. The one thing I was just challenge you with is the language. Say, I, mm -hmm. say I'm going to. I'm going to. And let's just embrace it. We look for it. Anybody want to shout out before we let you get out of here? Uh, shout out my mom back in D.C. Uh, I love y'all. Say your mom's name. Uh, Carolyn Rogers. I love yeah. you, mama. You already know. My little cousin Ronald. I love y'all, man. Y'all made. Y'all uh, raised me to who I am right, right now. And uh, MSU, East Lansing, dog. They made me. Yeah, bro. it's a good place. Fact. They made me, bro. And I, I, can, I don't have enough words to, to say how much I love East Lansing and how much this place means. That's right. Awesome. It's, it's roughly. Don't get me wrong. It was okay. Well, well, you yeah, just expanded. There's still gonna be another spot for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm already. I'm yeah. already hip. I love this place. But so many people here show me love, especially Adrian with the big spot. Yeah. LA showed me love. Luha showed me love. Phil House, Ricks, all them boys. Dublin, they showed me love. They always had my back for show. And they, yeah. uh, they always stuck it to me straight too. And I, I always did what I had to do. And Rock for show. Rock is a DJ over at Phil House. Uh, he also owns one of the spots at Phil House and, and uh, Pure Options as well. He's been a huge mentor for me. Really? Uh, he DJ out in Chicago. So uh -huh. anytime I have like any crazy questions for him, he always you know sticking to me straight. Like, hey man, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You know, right. we need to. We yeah, need to yeah that's good that you have people that can tell you that. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. watching. Yeah. We're gonna make sure we stay in contact and keep an eye on you. Then what we'll do is do a check in, and uh, LA will be on my calendar sometime oh, soon. Man, I know you better put it together. Come on, dog. You yeah, know, man. MSU, come on. Get yeah. up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Share man. your um, social media so people can follow. Uh, my social media, everything: Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter is Viva V I V A King Tone K I. N G T O N E. Come follow me. It's going to be an insane ride out to LA. You're it's going to be good. It. It's going to be good. With that being said, this is Lindsay Hudson with SBS up in the building at Goodfellas Bakery Deli, downtown East Lansing. We're here from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Thursday through Saturday. You can't beat that. With that being said, we'll see you next time. Peace.